Well, you've come to watch Mikkel Tell game. If you're coming to expect a little bit of magic, some sacrifices, a brilliant moves, and just general absolute chaos on the board, well, that's exactly what you're going to get in this 21 move masterpiece that Tal played against an Estonian master, Livonet. Um, in the game, we get e4, e6, d4 by Tal playing with the five pieces. We get d5, and then Tal plays e5, uh, the advanced variation. So we get c5, c3, knight c6, knight f3, and then we get queen b6. And in this position, Tal decides to play the Milner uh, Barry Gambit. Now, if you're not aware of it, it's a very can be a very aggressive Gambit in the French, uh, playing against the French. So we get uh, d3. This is the Milner Barry Gambit. And so we get c takes d4, c takes d4. And a little trap in this position is you think, well, you're winning the pawn here with black. But in fact, this is a dreadful mistake because if you take here, you can see it's a blunder. Why is it a blunder, would you say? Because after the knight takes back, if you take with the queen, you play the nice little sneaky move of bishop to b5 check winning the queen so this is not something that you want to play so because of this um, our Estonian master decides to play bishop to d7 protecting from the bishop uh, check on b5 at the end of that line so Tal then decides to play as he's playing the gamba he's really going for it he plays castle so he's going aggressively all out he's given up a pawn maybe even two pawns in this position to get a really strong attack so let's see what happens we get knight takes the pawn knight takes back queen takes and in this position tal decides to play knight c3 giving up the second pawn so he's given up two pawns here for very fast development so uh the Estonian master says yeah i'm gonna take it so he takes the pawn then we get the nice move of rook to e1 now when you're playing a gambit or playing against a gambit realistically after giving up a pawn it's all about tempos uh if the the, the side that has played the gambit can keep playing with a tempo move well their their attack is going to build up very very quickly and that's exactly what happens in this game so we get a uh, queen to d6 now the computer prefers a move of uh, back to b8 and if the if you play back to b8 here then you play uh, knight takes d5 so maybe um our sonia master didn't want to give up the pawn he plays to d6 but that allows the nice move of knight to b5 attacking the queen and now he goes back to b8 and he's given up a tempo which is a very very poor decision as we'll come to see now what happens if instead here uh, black takes um, the knight well then you can play check king d8 bishop to d2 rook to c8 queen to a4 we get a6 bishop to a5 check b6 then we get a nice little move here of attacking the rook after rook to a8 bishop to c3 queen to d7 we get a trade-off and after you bring back with the check king to d8 and play something like a4 in this position even though white is down a pawn they've got extremely excellent attacking chances in this game and uh, it's worked out very nicely so in the game we see that none of this happens we go back and we get uh, the queen to b8 move and after here we get uh, queen to f3 now queen to f3 threatens winning the pawn here because of the pin of the rook uh, but it also uh, gives this option of playing uh, the bishop here with some nasty forks with the knight incoming. So we get d6, and in this position, we get queen takes d5 by Tal, which is a mistake because he's giving up the pawn here. Um, but we're going to see what his ID was. Um, of course, the computer this says that a much better line here is something like knight takes, queen takes, and then after developing your bishop to f4, queen e7, queen to g3, f6 and rook to c1 uh, taking control of the open file and white has a very nice attacking prospects in the game but as we saw uh, we get Tal gives up the pawn on h2 and after king to h1 we get a blunder of 
bishop to c6. Now bishop to c6 looks like a very good move attacking to the pawn here but it allows this move of queen to g5. Now in fact the computer prefers if you go back here and because of the pin on this pawn is such a dangerous uh, thing the computer says you know what play knight to g7 and then trade off your queens on the h2. But of course this doesn't happen instead we got this blunder and we get queen to g5 attacking the pawn. Now what would you say here? Do you think this is a free pawn? Well, if you take the pawn here, you lose the game. And Mikkel Tell will lose the game to a very Mikkel Tell checkmate. Because after attacking the queen here, the queen has to move. And no matter where it goes, let's say it takes there, we get checkmated with the beautiful double bishop checkmate. So instead, Tal plays f4, and this pawn is protected by the bishop on c1, cutting off protection of this bishop, which means it's about to die. And here, unfortunately, our Estonian master plays a poor move of h6. Now, queen to g7 is allowed, because after rook to g, uh, g8, even if uh, we go here, we get the escape square out because of the fact that this pawn is protecting from this. So we get g7, rook to g8, and here Tal plays a brilliant sacrifice. Can you find a brilliant sacrifice that Tal played? Well, I mean, it's absolutely shouting out to be played here. It is the rather wonderful and brilliant rook takes e6. Now, this is a brilliant move because not only uh, does it give a check, and if you move the king away any square, you're going to lose pieces all over the shop. But what's a very nice aspect of this move is when you take back with the pawn, it now allows the bishop to jump into g6 to check. And we're in all sorts of trouble. We get rook to d8. And it was after queen to f6 with the check. Uh, mate in seven on the board forced, depending what the king does, it can be done quicker. Um, it could have continued something like d7, queen to f7 check, d8, queen takes the rook, then after king to d7, queen to g7 check, king to c8, queen to f8 check, queen to d7, bishop to e8, giving up the bishop so that we can check, and then beautiful checkmate on c7. Mikhail Tell, what a wonderful genius, and I hope you enjoyed watching this game.